Hi everyone, welcome back with my new video. Today I'm going to upgrade and check upgrade options for the Stellan Spire on 15 TGL 3000, 3511 laptop. This laptop runs on 11th generation Intel Core i3 1115G4, Windows 11 Home, and 4GB RAM. So to begin with to get in, we're going to use some Phillips head screwdriver, and we're going to take out all the screws. Then I'm going to upgrade this 8GB RAM and a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, or you can install a 2.5 inch SATA SS. Here all the screws are the same size, so there's no concern that mixing and matching. Because they're all exactly the same. Which makes it nice and easy for us. I'll start with these two sides and I just used my finger to just slide down and twist it just slightly and continue to the right hand side.
so just quickly, a quick overview on what we have here, this is a cooling system, so here is on VME SSD. And we have two REM DIMM slots here and this is the 3 cell battery. This is a speaker and this is an internal SATA hard disk drive enclosure. Before doing anything disconnect the battery over here. Also, you can upgrade the Wi-Fi module if you like. Now disconnect the battery here, to remove, slide like this, slide it across just slightly, and then just be able to pull down. To install NVMe SSD you have to remove this screw and remove this cover, then replace SSD here. Here I'm not changing SSD. If you want to upgrade to NVMe SSD you have to consider these values before upgrading. Then we are going to install RAM right here. When you go to install it, line it up with a notch, then slide that in push down notch as oh it shoots up. Make sure those copper pins are hidden. These are the supported memory configurations. This is very straightforward, pull these two tabs here out and it should flick up like this. Now time to install Saudi hard drive. This laptop supported up to 2 terabytes Saudi hard drive or SATA SSD. First, remove enclosures, screws like this. Then using these four screws install a hard drive or SSD to the enclosure.
After installing the hard disk connect the SATA cable. Then reconnect my battery, which is fairly straightforward, slide like this, slide it across just slightly, and then just be able to pull it forward. So now all that's really left is to simply reassemble it. Start with the bottom side, kind of needs to be slid over first, and then everything else should fall into place. After installing a hard drive and 8 GB RAM, I ran benchmarking software to check performance. Thank you. 
These are the benchmark value I got after upgrading my system. See you in the next video. Thank you everyone and I hope you enjoyed watching my video of this. Please remember to subscribe to my channel.